When the wise men had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. And he rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed to Egypt and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Out of Egypt I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, became furious. And he sent and killed all the male children in Bethlehem, and in all that region who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had ascertained from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and loud lamentation. Rachel weeping for her children, she refused to be comforted, because they are no more. The Gospel of the Lord Today, not one Rachel, many Rachels are weeping for their children, because those children are no more, because of various reasons. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, three days back we celebrated the birth of a child, the Savior of the world, Jesus Christ. Today we remember the death not of a single child but many children who were killed by Herod in Bethlehem. They died for Jesus they died because of Jesus. Before Jesus could die for them, they died for Jesus. And they are martyrs, the holy innocents. My dear brothers and sisters, on the one hand, we have Herod, who was searching and looking for children to kill. He was a man of greed, pride, selfishness, crookedness, and wickedness. And at the same time, we have a God who sent an angel to Joseph, asking him to take the child and the mother and flee to Egypt. This is the reality of the world in which we live today. We see people who are looking to kill looking to destroy, but at the same time, we have a God who is protecting, who is caring for each one of us. At the same time, we may wonder why God did not prevent this cruel killing. God could have intervened and prevented this murder. We understand that God has given each one of us the freedom, a free will, and also the wisdom to understand, to discern His will for us. But sometimes, because of our selfishness, because of our ego, we may fail to see God's will in our life. And we may land up in destroying and troubling others, causing suffering and pain in the life of others. My dear friends, when we have to suffer, as a result of our own mistakes or as a consequence of our own sinfulness, we may bear the pain. We may tolerate our pain. But even after living a holy life, a virtuous life, when we face trials, tribulations and sufferings, sometimes we may question God. We may blame God. Some people even, they may reject God, they may lose their faith. 
As we celebrate this feast, my dear friends, we examine our own life. Are we like Herod, causing pain and suffering in the life of others because of our selfishness? Because we feel that we are superior than others? Or seeing the will of God in our life and for others, can we encourage others? Can we support others in their pains and sufferings? In this Holy Eucharist, we pray for all those people who suffer unjustly. All those people who are suffering even after living a holy life, a virtuous life. God may give them courage and strength to endure all the pains. And God may reward for their suffering, their endurance. Amen.